everyone, this is Kate from Crocoblog. Today we will go over the advanced carousel widget. With it, you can create magnificent image carousels to display images in the form of a slider with multiple items. So guys, let's open the page we'd like to add our carousel to with Elementor. Search for advanced carousel widget. Simply drag and drop it to the page. As you can see, it's got three tabs, content, style, and advanced. First of all, let's proceed to the content tab. Click on the item number one and choose the needed image from the media library. Here, you can pick the content type you need. Give a title to your item and add the description. Also, you can add the link to your item, make it open a new window or add no follow and set the button text. I've just added a couple of other items and now we can proceed to the settings section. Here you can choose the items layout. I'll go for banners. Choose the animation effect you like. As you can see, there are some pretty cool ones. So just click through the list to choose the one that fits you the most. Adjust the size of images, title, and even columns. Choose the quantity of slides to show and to scroll. And decide whether you'd like to show arrows and dots navigation or not. I will keep arrows and dots as well. Once done playing with the settings, go to Additional Options section. As you can see, these options give you the possibility to make your carousel even more unique and dynamic. You can pause the animation on hover just by toggling this option to yes. Here you can turn the autoplay function off or on. Adjust the speed of the autoplay and choose whether you'd like to disable or enable the infinite loop option. Also, you can toggle the center mode on and set up the animation effect to fade or slide along with the animation speed. So guys, the Style tab gives you the opportunity to design each part of your carousel item, starting with the column, banner item, title, and content, and finishing with the carousel arrows and even dots. I will make my carousel a bit more stylish so it looks nice and attractive and fits my website. So guys, give me a few seconds to go through the settings, customize them, and I will show you the result in a bit. So once done customizing your advanced carousel widget, you can click Update and then preview the results. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Give us your like, subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for updates, and check out our friendly Facebook community. Cheers, guys!